Hi, I'm George, I'm a family therapist in the Early Intervention in Psychosis Service and today I just want to talk with you briefly about how important it is at these really difficult times to look after yourselves and your family members as well. So already when you have somebody within the family who is experiencing some symptoms of psychosis it could be a really really difficult time um, difficult for everybody within the family so not just the individual who is unwell but also everybody within the family um, who will have been impacted in some way by by the illness um, so it can, can can evoke some some worries within the family so everybody's worried about what, you know what's happening when will this go away worried for your loved one also, it can evoke some feelings of, of sadness, so feeling quite down mood within the family. It's a sad time, sad experience to be having. It can um, bring on some feelings of um, uncertainty and um, kind of helplessness, so feeling like you're not quite sure about how to help your loved one, how to help with the illness, how to help each other, how to help things to get better. It can be a lot of confusion around what, you know, what is this all about? How do I help with this? So there's a lot of those kind of hopeless feelings um which can also lead to feelings of frustration and anger so it's it's quite normal for family members to feel quite angry with the illness quite angry about why is this coming to our family why is this having such the impact that it's having it doesn't feel fair it's unjust you know nobody's to blame and through nobody's fault this this illness has come in and is, is creating quite a lot of upset within our family so on top of that, now we have the added pressure of coronavirus, which puts a lot of pressure on, on any family, but never mind a family who is already experiencing a loved one who, who are quite unwell. So now you may have the added pressure of financial difficulties, you may not be able to earn as much as you previously were, you may be concerned about a loved one who's in a vulnerable group within the family or showing some symptoms. Also, at this time of, of lockdown, we're having to spend more time together as a family, um, which, can, which can be a strain, you know, it can put pressure on families when you're having to spend that time together that maybe you didn't used to and maybe you don't have that time out as much as you used to. Or alternatively, maybe um, you can't see family members that you would have previously spent a lot of time with, maybe family members that you will go and visit and, and get support from. At the moment, you can't see them, so that, that added pressure is there. So during these really difficult times, it's really important that we look after ourselves and look after our families. And it can just be small things that make big differences for us within, within our families. So maybe um, if we think about something like um, small acts of kindness within the family, so that can be simple things like making somebody within the family their favourite snack or their favourite drink. It could be baking them their favourite cake, um, doing that job that they've been asking you to do for ages without them having to ask you again. Sending a really thoughtful text to somebody within the family or a letter to somebody outside of the family. You know, just letting somebody know how much they mean to you or something you appreciate about them. Giving somebody a hug for no reason, you know, that physical contact can make a big difference for somebody. And asking people, how are you? How are you doing? You know, starting up, up a conversation. Also, it's really important as a couple and um, within the family that you um, take care of yourselves as a couple and you have that, that protected time together um, to keep your relationship strong. So watching a movie together, going for a walk together, just making some time every day that's just for you as a couple. Even if that's just 10, 15 minutes where you get to come together and ask each other how you are and tell how much you mean to them. Those things are really, really important. And then also taking care of yourself. That's really, really vital. Um, some people feel a bit, a bit selfish for, for having some time out just for them, but it's really, really important that we recharge our batteries and look after ourselves because that's how then we can look after other people within, our, within the rest of the family. So things like treating yourself to that favourite snack, you know, have that piece of cake because at the moment things are quite difficult and if that's going to help you to feel better, then you do that. Listen to the music that you like, whether that's really loud, upbeat music or soothing and calming music, doing some exercises, again, whether that's something calming like yoga or something a bit more upbeat. Read something you love, whatever that is, poetry, the newspaper, a novel, whatever that is. Practice mindfulness. Um, just some slow breathing exercises, maybe going outside and noticing nature and hearing the sounds that you don't normally listen out for. There are lots of mindfulness apps online um, that can help with these things. Also, you know, just have a soak in the bath. Just have that time out for yourself to have that soak in the bath. So basically, just these small, simple things can make a really big difference for yourselves and your family. Um, 
you know, if you do something, not in response to somebody doing something nice to you, but just be nice to others for no apparent reason um, and be consistent with them and doing them throughout the day can make a huge difference in these really, really difficult times. Take care.